Well, I am from Mosul, a, no a north south west of Iraq, occupied by uh, ISIS for last two years. Before ISIS took over our city, I was working worked as a mathematics teacher, lecturer at the University of Mosul. Uh, for my children, I have chosen good primary school since I, I wanted them to get best possible education. They really enjoyed their school and they uh, studied both in Arabic and English. In fact, all the children in, uh, in their age had opportunity to attend school because education was highly valued in my region. However, everything has completely changed under ISIS control. The school and the university more uh, were immediately closed. All women and girls were not allowed to continue their work and studies. What is more, women were not even allowed to get uh, steps out of their home, homes without any adult man related to them. After a few months, uh, some schools were reopened, but according to the strict rules by ISIS. And gradually, the syllabus was changed. For example, in the fourth grade, my oldest son was taught how to clean a gun and organize its apart in basic education class. In mathematics, um, uh, most example included a military weapon. In secondary school, uh, schools, studied hard, uh, a student had regular military uh, training, not only how to shoot a gun, but also they were uh, brainwashed. So they would be ready and willing to use the guns. Therefore, almost family, Almost all the family deciding to leave the cities. And also they decide to stop sending their children to school after the children just learn, learned read and, reading and writing. A lot of family were forced to leave their uh, leaving Mosul and other uh, uh, cities occupied by ISIS. Some of them risking their life left the country, but most staying in the camps created by international organization. Staying in the camp is probably safer. However, the living conditions are really hard. People living in the tents. There is not enough there is no, uh, not enough food or drinking, uh, uh, drinking water, and sanitary conditions are very bad. Diseases spread easily. In summer, small child are dying because it's so hot, and in the winter because it's too cold. In those horrible conditions, nobody even things about uh, organizing or education when the basic needs are not being met. Our children, our children uh, saw so the children almost, they uh, did not uh, get any education last two years ago. Thank you.